Hi everyone and welcome to some Mr. FPGA news. This week, we will be talking about Neo Geo Pocket updates, updates to the Neo Geo CD, new arcade core releases, and the Nintendo 64 core finally running a commercial game. So let's get to it. We have some amazing updates for the Nintendo 64 core. First, SIDM8 and PIF handling was implemented. If you don't know what that means like I did, the developer has us covered. These implementations enable controller support. Controller testing was done with a Switch Nintendo 64 controller via Bluetooth, and Robert says that results with it are already very close to a new Nintendo 64 pad. This seems like an important milestone to me because adding controller support might mean that some playable games might be running soon in order to actually use them. Not long after, Robert did get the first game running and playable. I was expecting some simple homebrew game to be shown, and there is homebrew that is working. But we also got to see a commercial game running. Sure, it's a commercial game that consists of simple 2D arcade game, but it's amazing that it works. On top of running this commercial game, sound was also added to the core. If you support Robber on Patreon, you can download the latest build of the Nintendo 64 to try it out yourself. Robert is now going to finish up some smaller tasks regarding the core and then move on to the RSP. That's the reality signal processor of the Nintendo 64. It performed graphics calculation that helped speed up 3D rendering. It also did audio processing. Things just keep getting better and better for Nintendo 64 fans. One of my viewers notified me of a correction to the FPGA 6502 replacement chip I posted about last week. I had mistakenly thought that the latest update was from this July, but it was actually from July of last year. My viewer also said that the actual chip needed is actually available at Mouser and a few other online retailers. So if you want to create one of these replacement 6502s, you should be able to obtain the parts needed now. Hotego posted a video showing the first cart ROM loading on the Neo Geo Pocket Core. The game being shown is Samurai Showdown. Things are running, but you can tell there are missing elements on this intro sequence. A later post then showed the first stable game running in the core. It's called Master of Siyogi. I hope I pronounced that correctly. And this game is based on a Japanese board game. It's one of the more simpler games to be released on the Neo Geo Pocket, but this shows that the core is progressing. But Hotego kept working and gave us another update. After fixing another bug, Neo Geo Cup and King of Fighters R1 also seem stable now. There are still some video problems with them, but Hotego seems confident that he will be able to resolve those. One thing I forgot to mention last week was that support for the Neo Geo CD was finally added to the Neo Geo Core. This was done thanks to work by Paul BNL. Now you can play those Neo Geo games that have arranged CD soundtracks and some exclusive ones. The best part about this update is the 4x CD speed increase that significantly reduces load times. And here's a reminder. With the latest update to the core, you will have to move all your CD-ROM ISOs and the CD BIOS to a new folder called Neo Geo-CD. They will no longer load from the Neo Geo folder. Wizzle has released version 0.20 of his remote script, which gives you the ability of controlling your mister from your phone or any device with a web browser. New major features in this release include, all files in the menu page can be moved, renamed, and deleted. You can also create new folders and view some basic file information. New scripts page has been added, which lets you launch any script you have in the existing Mr. Scripts menu and open the console. This launches the script exactly as Mr. does. It doesn't run them in the background like over SSH. There are a lot of other minor updates and bug fixes, so check the Mr. FPGA forum post for the rest of the details. You can download the script using Update All and enabling Wizzle's database or manually from GitHub. This script and some of Wizzle's other scripts are must-have utilities to provide some quality of life enhancements to your Mr. FPGA. If you enjoy Wizzle's scripts, you can support his work on Kofi. Core developer Raki is updating the Psychic 5 core. The core had issues displaying properly on some TV sets, so an option to change the horizontal and vertical refresh rate was added.
A Track 17 announced that Saint Dragon for the Jalico Mega System 1 arcade core has been released. You can check out more details on Attract 17's public Patreon post and the project's GitHub. The core can be obtained by enabling the CoinOp Collection database in the Update All script. There were also some other arcade games released for the Jalico Mega System 1 core that I missed. These new games include The Astyanax, a side-scrolling action arcade game set in a fantasy world, P47 Freedom Fighter, a horizontally scrolling shooter set during World War II. So that's it for this episode. I provided links to all my sources in the description. Make sure you also check out RetroRGB.com to see my Mr. News videos in block form and to get more retro-related content. And if possible, support my Patreon too. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and its bell icon so you can get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you next time.